Good morning again and welcome to Get to the Point, the tech series where we get straight in there. So first of all, we have talisoft.com. They are moving from the on-premise system into the cloud. We are now setting up the Office 365 tenant for them and uh, we're going to start that process with doing this sign up. I'm signing up with a free trial for their 365 while we get uh, started with this. Now, um, this particular link we use for this is in the exchange2019.com website, which is one you just go and find in the create tenant, you'll, you'll find this link. Um, you can surf for it yourself on the net and you will find it, but this is essentially the page we want to get to. So we're going to hit the free trial because then we get a month for free and we can continue afterwards when we want to do that. So we've hit the free trial and it will ask us for the email address that we want to use for the subscription, which will be generally your admin account. When we hit next, it's going to tell us that that account is not available for use because it's not a Microsoft account. So we will create a brand new one and I'm going to call this one tally admin and I'm going to pause the video for a second while I put in the details I have to put in a valid phone number and company name and do a verification um, so I will do that and be back very shortly okay and here we are so we have done the verification of the phone number so now we need to create the business identity now this is very important because you can not change this once it is done so this is going to be our talisoft.onmicrosoft.com account very important we get this uh, set up correctly so we'll do that we'll check the availability and looks like it is available which is good if it isn't available for your company then choose something else it really is uh, not going to affect anything in terms of the the overlying vanity name that you have although it is just a nice thing to have it as close to the business as you possibly can so we'll hit next on that and we're going to create a brand new account so i'm going to call this one the same as our admin account so we become tally admin at talisoft.onmicrosoft.com give it a password like so and you know why not let's get some junk mail We'll sign up for that and it will create the account. Now this will go ahead and create the entire tenant for us as well, which will have uh, a 25 user trial. We don't have to use the 25 users when we go through and purchase licenses later on. Uh, we can tell it that we only want a, a smaller account than that. So here we go set up the account and you can see that this is the information we need for later so make a note of this it's the office.com website and this particular admin account the tally admin at talisoft.onmicrosoft.com where we then say go into the setup and that will take us into the setup wizard for office 365 now the first thing we really want to do in there is get the talisoft.com domain listed in there. So I'm going to do that with the admin section, which will take us through to the main page. And I'm going to say show all so we can see everything. But essentially what you'll get here is if you go down the left hand side and have a look at our active users in the tenant, we don't have anybody in there apart from the tally admin that we initially set up. But lots of other options to, to look at here. Now, what we want to have a look at is under settings and under domains, we'll notice we just have talisoft on microsoft.com so this is the point where we want to add in the talisoft.com domain so we're going to hit add domain and give it the correct name there use this one now it will require a verification now this is generally done with a dns entry or if you do have uh, an account with GoDaddy. Microsoft 365 does have uh, a linkage structure where you can put in your GoDaddy credentials and verify your domain that way. If not, you're going to need to do a text entry in your DNS, which is a very simple thing to do. This particular domain is registered with GoDaddy, so I am going to do it this way. If we look at the more options, you'll see that we can then say add a verification record with a text entry or, or do it that way. So we'll say verify there. And you will get, if I bring this in here, 
So I'll pause the video just slightly while I go through and do this verification on the GoDaddy, but once it's done, I'll bring that back and show you that it is uh, verified correctly and added in. So you can see that after putting in my GoDaddy credentials in there, it's asking me to authorize Microsoft to enable that. So I will say connect and that will go ahead and add that in for us. And now this will also allow us to do the DNS entries that we need to get this done. Now I'm going to hit continue here. As you can see more options here. Let Microsoft add your records recommended, add your own records. I'm going to say skip and do this later. I do not want to change any of the MX records or anything for the domain right now. I want to do that manually later on. So I'm going to say skip and do this later. And you'll see if we continue that domain setup is now complete. And if I hit done, you'll see that talisoft.com is now in here. Now, as I didn't touch the DNS, remember, nothing is going to route through 365. I have done nothing to this Talisoft domain at all from a production sense. You are free to do this during the day in most companies if you uh, want to, but I do recommend that's done under some sort of change control basis and done out of hours. However, that now has talisoft.com sitting into this Office 365 tenant. So with that all done, the next step is to get our users listed and bind the Azure Active Directory Connect server into the Office 365 tenant. Let's get some identities up there and we can actually start doing some work with this tenant. So that will be under the next video. So please continue. <laughs>